piece very how much are high tier, just people don't pick them up, right? I think a lot of people like to pick up some of the top tiers, and they don't get used to fighting those other matchups. And you know, everyone always says, oh, it's Falcon, his recovery is not good. Just go ahead, guard him, he doesn't have a hitbox. Right. If you go from above him, he can't grab you. And we only saw one time where Guts tried to go out there and down air him, get the tech. Right. But that first stand, man, Bruce was ready. Yeah, exactly. But we didn't see him losing the equal often enough that his recovery even came into play. Yeah. We saw more up, he's trying to cover a get up option with the jab. So this is Blood. I think his tag used to be Kevin H. No, that's someone else. Okay, he looks but like he looks like Kevin H, man. I, I've seen Kevin H a couple times over at Jimmy now. I don't know about that, but Blood is a Bowser player. I played him a couple times. Oh yes, I did. I did play him once or twice before. Is he going Terry? Yes, he has a plethora of characters. He has I'm so happy we get to see Terry. Yes. Yeah. Um, he I, actually, if you guys don't know this, he actually did help out Iza create the How to Play Terry. Guy. So he definitely, no, was, yeah. They're on him. He's very, he also likes to play other fighters too. He likes to play Jack. He's very interested in playing Grand Jack. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna get into this game number one. Already six to seven percent on the blood. Get that catch you off. Going to be more damage. Nice. I like that option too because at this opportunity it's into a trouble situation, right? We definitely try to try to go for the direction we're not gonna engage. And look how much he lost. That was crazy. You got like three down tilts and then comboed it into a down smash to kill. Yeah, that means the power dunk. I love the lane power, or the power wave right there. Gets the little splash box in front of him, covers him, and then jumps into the team. I love the way you use it. It's, like, it's solid. It's Bowser. Yeah, it's really good too because it does foul, it does force Bowser to pick an option. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say that. I thought like that man just played something more smart for a reason, but hey, I won't, I won't give him the benefit of the doubt just yet. He does go for power wave simply because it does force your opponent to either block it or parry it, and it's gonna have to force him to go for an out of shield option or a jump, in which Terry can definitely call that out. Exactly, it's just a good kind of good check right there where it says you have to do one of the couple things I know how to react to, uh, so I'm just gonna force you to do that. Down tilt at the ledge. Oh, it looks like we might have been a bit of a too. He's trying to go for power dunk. Yeah, there it is. is. So, into power dunk, gonna be able to close that stock. 81% though, Blood's not doing too bad. Yeah, he's very used to going for delta combos, him very, being very reminiscent of a really bad before. Yeah. So he's really much used to this because... Alright, that's Shad, gonna get you a nice grab. Down to go, puts him on the platform, but he immediately slides off. Doesn't want to be there. Bowser has to get up smash, up to the attack. Look that, a side view of chase it. He's got go meter activated here. He's got blood a little bit on the defensive play too. He's trying to for those aerials. I like the use of downer, but I feel like he wasn't gonna really go on the platform just yet, just simply because he knows strength punish the down. It's a really good side beat, but perfect DI from the right there gonna keep him alive. Uh, this is where it's been about. He actually gets the charge up so he's not so he's really invincible. That's where it's gonna be really important because otherwise he won't snap to ledge and he'll get edge guard by things like Bowser down tilt. Yeah. A little overzealous there. Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe <laughs> it would work if he got the charge up B, but he didn't. Uh, so he's gonna die to a Bowser down there. Yeah. Oh, oh, what a call. What a call. Yeah, he, just, he just does it. He catches the end lag of the spot dodge and gets the stock to the one of the It's really good too, because okay. the two are blood rolls. Right, he is going to either go for a shield, a roll, a... On one of those opportunities, right? A spot dodge. And if he understands the fact that he has his opponent at the corner, he has a much disadvantage, right? If he goes for an aerial, he would be benefiting that because if he missed that opportunity, he wouldn't be too much of a punch. Alright, so going into game number two, we have no character switches, still rocking the tail. Mm -hmm. Different color, at least. I actually like this color for Gary. Uh, yeah. yeah. Alright, so Kylo's gonna be the figure. I haven't, I haven't got to see him up there where I'm confident on what stage he's going to up on. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, the stage is very big. It's very really hard to kill Bowser off the top. Uh, but I'm not too sure that's necessarily what Terry's going to be looking for. Oh, so I mentioned earlier how he was going to be using the way to force the Bowser to go for an aerial option. And that was the color of the song here. It's really, really demonstrates why the odds are pretty viable. Yeah, almost got him from the crossbar back though. This is where Blood needs to be aggressive here. There it is. 
cut. Double jump fail gonna trade with burning that Yeah. I thought we were gonna see back to fail burning that before we officially lose it there, but back to second attempt there on the stage. And we'll talk. Yeah. And, oh, do it again. Then he put him all the way in disadvantage. Two moves. That looks big deal. Oh, nice. Burn up. Alright, that's a dangerous spot, but goes back after he does connect the down tilt, gets side B forward, but he's only at 40%, he's not even. <laughs> I like the fact that he waited for it because he knows Blood has been going for those down airs, so he's not going to give him the opportunity to spawn into it. And he punishes him for going for it. I'm not going to lie, I actually like some fairy spells, so it's a really good one Now he has such a big advantage. Goes for the F tilt into the power knuckle once again. Sorry, the first knuckle once again. I like that because the high recovery there. I like the fact that Blood understands that the only half of the is the place to go. So it's going to be back there. Back up the seat. So I'm looking how Blood does make those uh, on stage returns here. But at certain opportunities, he does need a lot of percent for coming for uh, the stage. Sometimes he's going to be a little ledge. He tries for the spike hitbox of the power down to catch him, catch him looking back maybe a little bit, but he's not going to get it. That did so much good damage, actually. Yeah, that did a lot. 124. And now the Gromir is online. Are you okay, man? I'll tell you who won't be his blood. Yeah, blood was blood not okay. Was, blood not okay right now. He's looking kind of nice, like, finishing it off with the Buster Wolf. Mm -hmm. 